In last year's report, I pointed out that greater effort was required to bring more women on the Supreme Court bench. Nevertheless, the Judicial Service Commission has deliberations on the matter, and I am in the process of conducting consultations across the board to address the concern. I am confident that in my next year's report, I'll report progress on the matter. I wish to stress, however, that the situation in the Supreme Court is part of a larger problem that confronts not only the judiciary, but the country as a whole, and therefore requires our collective wisdom. The High Court is supposed to be the primary source of recruitment to the Supreme Court. But as we all know, finding willing and suitably qualified candidates for appointment to the High Court has not been plain sailing. To compound the problem, a good number of judges in both the High Court and the Supreme Court will be leaving the judiciary over the next five-year horizon, either through retirement or for personal reasons before retirement age. Given that reality, we are already finding it difficult at the moment to recruit judges to the High Court. Thus, there is a real concern about how the departing judges will be replaced. This is therefore a matter that is of national concern and will require the collective wisdom of all the organs of state. Nevertheless, in our attempt to remedy the unsavory situation, the Judicial Service Commission has taken a decision to afford opportunities for acting appointments at the High Court to as many eligible persons as possible. Such appointments are made under carefully crafted guidelines that include a basic competence assessment and a fitness and stability interview. Furthermore, I have re recently set up several in-house committees to de deliberate on challenges facing the judiciary and to plan for the future. One such committee is dedicated to training. The training committee's mandate includes planning and running an aspirant judges program for interested eligible candidates. I cannot stress strongly enough that for us to successfully amount to these initiatives and to make sure that the judiciary is competently start well into the future, sufficient resources will be required. I'm looking forward to constructive engagement with the executive and the legislature in addressing this issue for the good of our country.